All right, guys. So today I'll be going over my top 10 wooden coasters that I've ridden as of 2021. There are a lot of good wood coasters I've ridden and a lot of new entries on this list this year. So let's get right to it. Our number 10 spot. I've got the New Mexico Rattler at Cliffs Amusement Park. And I've always said this thing's an underrated gem. It's like no one talks about it and it has great laterals. The airtimes, you know, it's good. It, it's good passable airtime. It's intense. Um, it's rough, but you know, you can look past that. It's a great Woody and definitely an underrated gem in the coaster world. Now at the number nine spot is a coaster that definitely gave I got a new appreciation for this year. This is Predator at Darien Lake, my home park. And I don't know what it was with Predator this year, but it just had some crazy airtime this year. Like, yeah, it's rough, but like the airtime's just so good. Like on some days, like it was running as good as some of Ride of Steel's hills, which like was a rare occurrence, but it did happen once, and yeah, it, it, the airtime's just really strong on this, like, I don't know what happened this year, but, I don't know, Predator's definitely my second favorite in the park now, and it's definitely a really great Woody. Now, at the number eight spot is Twister at Knobles. Again, I used to not really like this ride, but, I don't know. After a re-ride, or multiple re-rides this year, found the airtime was actually really good. I don't think it's as good as Predator, but it definitely makes up for that in the laterals department. I mean, the laterals are just absolutely crazy, especially on that double helix around the station. And the whole ride feels out of control, which is just what you want in a good wooden coaster. Now, at the number seven spot, we're really taking things up a notch with a coaster you might not expect, which is Oscar's Wacky Taxi at Sesame Place. And I had no expectations for this thing. I thought this thing was going to be like a true family coaster. Like, yeah, it's going to be fun. But no, the first time I got off this thing, I was shocked. Like, I, like, I feel like the hills on this thing are kind of reminiscent of almost like the finale of Steel Vengeance. Like, if those last six hills on Steel Vengeance were a coaster, like, I feel like this would be it. Which, the last six hills on Vengeance are the weakest ones on the ride, but that's still saying a lot that this ride is getting compared, this 40 foot tall family wooden coaster is getting compared to the world's greatest coaster. Like, it, it's crazy. Like, those little bunny hills, like, they deliver some good ejector, and the restraints are comfortable. Like, it's at a park where, like, it's a family park, so it doesn't really have a line often. Like, this, I don't know how this thing's classified as a family coaster, because it definitely packs bigger thrills than a lot of coasters I've been on. Now, at the number six spot is Mystic Timbers, a ride I was kind of disappointed in at Kings Island. And I had a separate view explaining why I was disappointed, but really it just has to do with the strength of the airtime. I think it's kind of like, it has a bit more airtime than Wacky Taxi, but it's not quite as strong. Um, it does have like some lateral scattered through, which is kind of what barely pushed it ahead of wacky taxi for me but i don't know like it's just like of like good floater but like it's not like there's no real like standout airtime moments like you're not going wow that moment was crazy like no it all just is kind of like oh there's a nice good floater pop oh there's another one but like there, where's the like standout like shocking ejector moment like I don't know. I was disappointed in this thing. Um, the shed's kind of stupid, yeah. Um, but overall, it's still a fun ride. It's just didn't live up to the hype. Now we're in the top five. and number five, you've got Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds. And this thing, 
you you can just tell this is a huge terrain coaster because you're just flying in and out of the woods the whole ride and those airtime moments they're pretty good like most of them are ejector pops like i will say like i don't know maybe i caught a lot of these woodies on good days but like i don't know like after thinking about more, like, I kind of regret not putting this in my number four Woody in my top 25 list. Like, these are some really good rides. And, like, while, like, going throughout the woods and getting some great airtime like you do on this, I mean, it's a nice long ride, too. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a really fun ride. And at the number four spot is Ravine Flyer 2 at Waldemere. And really what set this apart from boulder dash is the quality of hills i don't think it quite has the quantity but the quality is there especially in the two bridge hills like that's what did it for me like the two hills going over the road like those are just like nice sustained ejector moments like those are really fun and then the rest of the ride delivers great airtime as well I mean, the turnarounds are kind of meh, but, like, the airtime's, again, great on this. It has that great terrain interaction right by Lake Erie. Goes over the road twice. Um, only coaster currently to do that. I know Palindrome's gonna do that, but overall, Ravine Flyer 2 is just an amazing ride. And now we've come to the top three. And at the number three spot might be the most controversial pick on the list. You guys probably know what it is. It's the Beast. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about the Beast. Like, it, it's such a legendary ride. I mean, I've got a rap coming out about it in a week. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's a crazy ride. Like, it's so long. I mean, this is the definition of a terrain coaster going through the woods. Like, you want a textbook example of a terrain coaster in the woods? Like, this is your textbook example of that. It has the two lift hills. It's extremely long. It feels like a journey. There are some mild floater pops, so don't say there's absolutely no air time. And, of course, the best part of the ride, the laterals. Oh boy, the laterals on this thing are just absolutely deadly. The greatest ride I've ever been on, and probably of all time for laterals. Um, yeah, just overall, this is just something else for a coaster in general. And we've come to the top two, the big debate, El Toro or Phoenix. And at number two, we've got El Toro. And the first drop on this... Um, yeah, it's still my number three first drop. It's absolutely insane. You just get ejected over that, like, whipped over that so hard. And then the first two camelbacks are just like nothing else except for literally half the ride on Steel Vengeance. Um, but yeah, those first two cam camelbacks just give absolutely disgustingly good ejector. I thought there was nothing like those like when i first rode it um and then the turnaround's fun the rest of the ride's fun until you get into the second half where you start off with that incredible rolling thunder hill and that rolling thunder hill is sort of like a mini version of those prior two giant camelbacks that are absolutely crazy and then you go into a really intense twister section. You'll probably gray out if you're a little dehydrated or it's really hot out. And overall, this you, you know it's an ultra elite Woody. I mean, there's a reason why everyone has this thing on their bucket list or really high on their rankings if they've ridden it. But what's the number one spot? Of course, it's Phoenix. And the Golden Ticket Award voters, they've said a lot of stupid things like candemonium being the fifth best coaster in the world but they they were right when they give gave this the best woody in the world cuz i don't know any ride that could match like the sketchiness of how like dangerous like these hills feel like the lap bar is like 5 inches off my lap 
And these ejector airtime moments are so strong that I, I'm instantly shot up to the top of the lap bar. And I'm sustained there for like three seconds and then just shot back down violently into my seat again. And it does that over and over again. And the start of the ride, yeah, it's like weak floater, but like it gets better and better until it's just like some of the most deadly ejector you've ever felt. And those last four hills on Phoenix are my favorite elements on any coaster that isn't on Steel Vengeance, which is very impressive. So, that's my top 10 list of my top 10 favorite woodies I've been on. Let me know what you guys saw of these rankings in the comments below. Um, and yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.